What's going on, YouTube? Black Sheep RC, we got the Notorious Outcast, whatever you want to call it, As on you the guys table. know, this one had Ote bash bar on it already. So, we're going to go ahead and equip it with all these Ote parts. Hinge pin holders, bumpers, differentials, shock cap retainers, differential on the front, skid plates. Uh, yeah, we're going to put all these goodies on here. And I got a bunch of parts coming from RC All Wheel Drive, and I'm going to put them on another car. Okay. And we're just going to RC All Wheel them. Drive. Which car's better? Which parts last better? Are they all the same? Which ones are more expensive? Let's all find out together. Which ones hold up better? These are all T6, 7075, T6. Every one of them. So, let's see y'all. Just so figure, I broke my hinge pin the other day and it snapped back out again yesterday. And, well, look at here, we got some hinge pins. That's gonna be the first upgrade, I think, guys. Let's get them out oh, of here. there today. they are, guys. Let's get a good look at these and check them out. They are beautiful. And what's that people say? You get that good ting with good metal? Well, let's see. Let's see if we got good metal. Oh. Oh, I can't hit the metal. Jeez, man, Christmas. Yeah. There it is. It tings good, guys, either way. But uh, these parts look amazing. Look at the. It's just sick. Check it out here. Just get you a look at that. Yeah, grub screws in there already to hold it in. They got, they are nice guys. They got a little bit of weight to them. These are actually solid. Like, all right, let's install. Well, y'all, to say these hinge pins need to change is an understatement. Look at the back one. What the hell? It's almost ripped out the truck, bent in half. So, we're gonna see if this is a major upgrade. Oh, so there's that part. Boom. And they fit flawlessly, and they look absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna see. How this goes here, we're gonna slap them on. I just unbolted this so I could pull the whole differential out. We're gonna bolt it back on. We're gonna see how she goes. So Let's on to the moving. bumpers, guys. I'm gonna figure out how to put the bars and everything on this, figure out how it all goes together. It comes with the hardware and we're gonna move on. Okay, here we go, here we go. These are really nice made. These are little rear bumpers. This all came in here. We gotta figure out how it goes together, but this stuff, guys, is serious. Like, and it's flexible. Man, that is serious. Let's so get that dot on the front. I thought you had to put this back on, but you don't. That is what this black piece is for. Clearly, it goes on like that. Your screw screw into the front, holds the holds the metal piece in place, holds that in place, and then two holes on the bottom here for the bumper to screw into. So we're gonna get that on there. Charlie, this is what I was saying. That goes on like that, and then see how it's got the divots to hold your hinge pins. Yeah, they hold your hinge pins like that, and then the bump bumper bolts into the bottom. And just It'll like so, it's bolted on all four bottom there through your bulkhead and then you're gonna come in here and run this little guy in here and one on the other side like so both of them and that connects your hinge pin retainer to your bumper just like the armor designs or anything else so that's how it goes guys i'll show you here hey guys minute. and what i thought was a back bumper a little tiny back bumper is actually the spring that bolts in here that is that is sweet y'all look at that it bolts right in and then it gives you massive flex like Unreal flex, like that is awesome, y'all. Check that out, dude. Old Outcast bumper looking good, boy. Okay, parts coming together. Let's keep on moving. Right, you guys saw so on these shock rod ends, I had to trim the middle black piece that catches. I had to trim it down a little bit on each side, but it doesn't even matter because there's a lip inside this ring. I'll just show you. There's a lip inside that ring right there. See, it holds the whole round piece. So when you trim that little thing down, it does not matter because it catches the whole ring. All to the next right, y'all, top of the differential holder. Last but not least, it's got the little shims because they're not built in on it. Let's so go. The front ones I couldn't put on because these are the shocks that got a four millimeter shaft. The stock ones are only three millimeter shafts, so they did not fit. So look at that, boy. But anyway, let me get back to the point. Uh, she's kind of a mongrel now. She got GPM here. There's the Ote there, but the problem here is with the GPM, I can't put the bar on this side of it to hold the top thing here on only one side. But there's that. We got GPM or Ote bumpers down here. We got the Ote bumpers installed on the bumper. Look at that, y'all. Nice little bumper on there. We got the Ote bumper bash bar. Uh, what else did I install? Oh, over here, I still got the differential housing I ain't put on there yet. And... Uh, what else did I install just now? Oh, Jesus, the most important thing, all the hinge pin holders are Ote bumpers. Except for this one, because 
I didn't want to pull my whole front and all this junk off here. So whenever I break something that I have to take this apart, this one will go in the back in there. And the top one's already hot racing, so I didn't get his top top inch pin holder. Wish I had it, but I don't. But there it is, guys. And then I also still have a set of the uh, shock retainers and skid plates over here. That yeah. But this thing's got Basher Queen, GPM, OT, M2C, Hot Racing. Uh, <laughs> Is this thing is a mutt? It's got knockoff parts here. It's yeah, she's a mutt, but we love her, and she's a bad mutt. Got Basher Queen down there too, and carbon fiber ESC mount, Basher Queen servo mount. Oh, and it's also got uh, Saga Customs servo. It's got Saga Customs ring and pinion gear front and back. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I hate to do this to you, but I'll run it in the next video on 6s and we're gonna get wild and crazy and see what this shit can take oh yeah till the next one y'all peace out getting more personal and shit so here i am what up rc madness edgefield connecticut what up a little shout out Long life now